Happy Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> Happy Sunday, December 23rd. <laughs> um, it has been a lazy day so far today, but because I go back to work tomorrow and I work straight through for the next seven days, um, I have to get all my Christmas wrapping done this afternoon. So now that Dan and Oliver have left the house, um, I have the perfect opportunity to kind of go through and get everything or get as much as I can wrapped in the couple hours that they're gonna be gone. Whoops, on Netflix over there, a Christmas Prince. Has anyone seen that movie? I watched it last year and it's so bad that it's so good. So I need to watch it again because they've released a sequel this Christmas and I have not seen, whoops, that got a little close to my face. I have not seen the sequel yet. So I need to recap um, the first train wreck before I can watch the second one. I cannot watch Christmas movies without a glass of wine, so I'm not driving anywhere for the rest of the day, so I'm gonna have an afternoon glass of wine <laughs> while I try and get the wrapping done. <laughs> we'll see how much how much gets finished. We'll do a Christmas tree update, <laughs> or in front of the tree anyways. Okay, so a couple of glasses of wine later, and two Christmas movies, um, a documentary, and about five hours later uh the wrapping is finally done it's 10 o'clock at night almost um i took a break for dinner we ended up ordering in because i dropped everything to wrap presents um i go back to work tomorrow at seven so it's an early early morning um not quite done with my day yet i still have to make um a baked french toast which is something our family has every christmas i think oh gosh since i was about five or six years old we've um, what else happened today? Today we finalized our Disney trip. Yay! I'm so excited. I have to um, send the biggest, biggest thank you out to Brittany. Um, I'll link their channel down below. But if you know Brittany and Brian from, oh my gosh, why can't I think of their new channel name? Brittany, I'm so sorry. I know you as Extra Magic Hours. Oh, Adventures with Extra Magic. That's your new channel name. Anyways, Brittany is a Disney travel agent and she has been amazing helping us plan our Disney trip for uh, upcoming very soon. Thank you again, Brittany, so much for your help this afternoon. It was incredible, <laughs> like incredible. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, I am going to put some French toast together and uh, yeah, maybe I'll share that too. Yeah, the traditional uh, family French toast. Yay, more kitchen vlogging in my kitchen at 10.30 at night. <laughs> okay, French toast. This recipe is the oldest recipe. Remember when there used to be TV guides? Remember that? And you'd buy them at the cash register at the grocery store and they were those little books that told you what was on TV? <laughs> this recipe was in there. Excuse me, this is not about you right now. Yeah. Uh, TV Guide. It would have been uh, 1992-ish, 1991. Oh God, it was sometime back then. And Sally Jesse Raphael, do y'all remember her? She put a recipe in TV Guide for baked French toast. And my mom saw that recipe. She tried it one year and we all loved it. And it has been a Christmas tradition in our house every single year since then, like every single year. So at least, you know what? I'm not even going to say how long because that'll give a lot away and I don't want to do that. So, but anyways, Every Christmas, in some capacity, we have French toast. So I like to make it Christmas Eve um, because oftentimes I'm working Christmas Day so we don't have to get it for breakfast then. So yes, Christmas Eve, tomorrow. Breakfast for supper, everyone's coming over so I'm making big French toast. And now I'm rambling and today's vlog is gonna be so long. So here's what, here's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm starting off with two bread. This is actually um, egg bread or uh, challah bread. I don't think I'm saying that right, I apologize. Um, it's just the braided like eggy bread. Um, this I'm going to cube and I'm going to put into I uh, casserole dish. I use the disposable ones because this is impossible to clean after it goes in the oven. And through the magic of editing, next you take a block of cream cheese, just regular cream cheese and you cube it and you're gonna add it into the cubed bread. Okay, so I have a dozen eggs and in my measuring cup I have in here, I've actually mixed the two together, but it's a cup of milk 
and about three quarters of a cup of maple syrup. And it's the real kind of maple syrup, not the Aunt Jemima kind. It's the, the real stuff from the tree. I'm gonna blend all this up and then pour it into the bread and cream cheese. Okay, so the eggy mixture is on the bread and the cream cheese. So now I'm gonna wrap this up and put it in the fridge overnight so that it can soak. I actually have a little bit of bread left over, so that's good, I'm gonna take it for lunch. Um, yeah, it just sits overnight as it is. So that's it, baked French toast. It's really, really simple. It's a lot of eggs, but it's really simple. Um, it's gonna sit overnight in the fridge and soak, and then Dan's gonna put it in the oven tomorrow afternoon while I'm at work, and it'll be ready for supper time. So it's good, and it's just, um, I think it's you bake it at 350 degrees for about an hour or until it's set, until all the um, egg has fully baked so that there's no more runny bits. Uh, you just spoon it out, drizzle more maple syrup on it, and uh, it's delicious. It's really good. So I think I am finally ready for bed. I'm actually going to try and edit this before I go to bed because I don't think I want to do it at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. And uh, it'll be up for sure. And thanks so much again for stopping by, and I will see you tomorrow.